list. I have 7,000 head of cattle. I have 30 employees. I don't need to tell you the financial shape of my farm, and so I went and saw my banker. And I said to my banker, I said, I need to borrow some money. We need to start farming with nature. My banker, he rears back in his chair. He looks at me and he says, what in the world does that mean? I said, we need to become organic farmers. My banker, he looks at me and he laughs. He says, you want me to lend you money? You're not going to spend it with my other customers, the chemical dealer, the pharmaceutical dealer, the fertilizer dealer. He said, there will never be a day like that. So 1983, I sold my farm. I paid my debts. But I never gave up on the commitment I made. And I was working with other farmers not to make the mistake that I made. I got a call. And they said to me, they said, how would you like to go to Washington, D.C. and work on Capitol Hill? Oh, I can remember looking up and saying, oh, thank you, Lord. 535 members of Congress, I just absolutely knew they wanted to do what was right. <laughs> I went to Washington, D.C. I spent five years working on Capitol Hill. If you don't remember anything else I have to say, I'd like you to remember what I learned five years working on Capitol Hill. Them that got the gold to make the rules. And after five years, I said to my friends, I said, this game is rigged. The neck is marked. We'll never win here. My friends looked at me and laughed and said, well, what are you going to do? Go talk to the people? I said, yeah. I said, you're never going to get half of the people to do anything. I said, we don't need half. Eighty percent of the people are brain dead. They're part of the herd. <laughs> They're following nose to tail, and when you follow nose to tail, there's only one thing you ever see in front of you. <laughs> you know, so at this time, remember that I started out in Montana as a 300-pound football player. And when I quit playing football, I kept eating the same way, and I got well over 300 pounds. My blood pressure was sky high. My cholesterol was over 300. I'd sit down and have lunch and my nose would bleed. Now, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but I knew. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to live very long if I didn't change my diet, but I came from Montana. I'd rather be caught riding a stolen horse and admitting to somebody I was thinking about becoming a, 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 a vegetarian. <laughs> but I figured it out. I became a closet vegetarian. <laughs> I didn't tell anybody about it. The mainstay of my diet was lettuce and dairy products. One year, I lost some weight. My blood pressure went down slightly. My cholesterol went down slightly. And I thought, wow, if I could do this, being the world's first vegetarian, just think what I could do if I became a vegan. And I could spell vegan. <laughs> I became a vegan. I lost 130 pounds. My blood pressure went from sky high to normal. My cholesterol from 300 to 135. My God, 40 years of the longest ongoing heart study in the world, the Framingham study, down one person died of a heart attack that had a cholesterol reading below 150. I'm telling you what, I knew the answer. I couldn't hardly wait to tell my friends, my family, my wife and I have been married over 40 years. And in 40 years, she came with a mother that been a severe test. <laughs> and here I'm thinking about telling my mother-in-law about my new diet, even though it had the potential to extend her life. <laughs> I have to admit that I thought a long, long time about that. But I picked up the phone and I called my mother-in-law and I said, hey, Mark. I want to tell you about my new diet. On the other end of the phone, I heard it go click. I remember looking up and saying, thank you, Lord. But I thought it was too direct of an approach, and so I called her back, and I said, hey, uh, hey, March, why don't you and Ralph come to our house for Thanksgiving dinner? And she said, and you would have turkey. I said, I'll tell you what, if you come to our house on Thanksgiving, I guarantee you will have turkey. She knew she had me eating crow. 
Thanksgiving Day, my mother-in-law came in the house like a rocket. Immediately to the oven, she jerked open the oven. No turkey. She looked in the refrigerator. No turkey. To be sure, she checked the dryer. No <laughs> now I took my mother-in-law by the hand. Fortunately, I was wearing my gloves. I took her to the back door. I opened up the back door, and in the backyard, I had a live turkey. I gave my mother-in-law an axe. Not a real good idea to give your mother-in-law an axe. And I told her, I said, if you want turkey, you got to kill her. Now this turkey, this story's got good news and bad news. The good news is the turkey's still alive. The bad news, so is my mother in law. But you know, I learned something in this journey. That when you go up to somebody and you say, let me tell you about your diet, you can see their eyes roll up. You can actually hear their ears slam shut. They don't want to hear what you have to say. You know, I last year went to my 50th class reunion, Great Falls, Montana. I walk in the door of my 50th class reunion weighing exactly what I weighed when I graduated 50 years ago. One third of my classmates have already died. You never saw so many canes, crutches, and walkers in your own life. But nobody wanted to talk to me about my diet. So I went to the bathroom. I walk in the bathroom and some clown comes up to me and says, uh, you ever sneak out and get a burger? You ever go to McDonald's? Have you given any thought to how you're going to educate somebody in the bathroom about your diet? I was ready. I looked him firmly in the eye and said, by the way, does your poop float? <laughs> Never pass up an opportunity to educate somebody. Well, you know, here we are. We're living in the United States of America. One out of every two people dying today are dying of one thing, heart disease. What causes heart disease? Saturated fat and cholesterol. All cholesterol comes from animal products. No such thing as carrot cholesterol, cabbage cholesterol. You can't even mail order carrot cholesterol. The majority of saturated fat in our diet comes from animal products. One out of every three Americans today has cancer. One out of four is dying of cancer. Six out of every 10 Americans today are overweight or obese. Diabetes is growing astronomically. The health issues are growing and growing. And what are we doing? Spending billions of dollars <coughs> telling people how they should go and be a happy people. Would somebody bring me some water? But, you know, <coughs> There's a guy that, that wrote uh, <clears throat> the China study, Dr. T. Colin Campbell. And in this book, he writes about hearing of a study in India that was done. <coughs> My house mama. <laughs> But he read about a study where they ended up with rats that had cancer. And they were feeding these rats casein, 87% of the 